Hello, I'm Stan Hall. Welcome to this edition of the Gwinnett Sports Commission's Get in the Game. Over the years, we've had the opportunity to have some great athletes, some great managers, some great celebrities in sports, but I can't tell you how excited I am about today's show. Our guest today is fifth grader Javon Walton. Man, thank you very much for having me on the show. Welcome to the show and thank you for being with us. Javon, you got a nickname too, right? Tell me what your nickname is. My name is Juana, that's my nickname. And um, I got my nickname when I was really, really little because I wanted to do everything. I basically just wanted to be a man. I wanted to do basically just everything. And that's how I just got the nickname Juana. So that was given to you by your dad, I believe? Yes, that was given to me by my dad. So when, you, when you're out there doing your thing, and we're going to talk about what your thing is in just a minute because you've got a lot of things going on. So do you, do you prefer to be called Juana or do you go by Javon? I prefer to be called Juana because that's what people know me as. And I, just, I think it's like a really dope nickname and I love it. And it's all based on, you said, the reasons your dad gave you the nickname that you have always wanted to do this and wanted to do that. And it's just a natural fit and a natural nickname that fits you well right now in this part of your life, right? Yes, sir. Well, I'm going to call you both today. I'll call you one or the other as we're talking today. So for the people who are watching the show today who have never heard of Juwan Juana Walton, uh, you've got a lot of things going on in your life today. You're 11 years old, right? Yes, sir. You've got a lot of things going on. So Javon is currently the current Georgia State champion in boxing and gymnastics. Is that right? Yes, sir. So how long have you been doing all these sports? Well, um, I got into boxing when I was four years old. My dad took me to a gym, and I just fell in love with it ever since. And mm -hmm. um, um, my dad actually opened a gym in Brazelton recently called Onward Boxing. And um, I got into gymnastics when I was about five years old. And um, once again, my dad, my dad and mom took me to a gym, and um, I just fell in love with gymnastics. And I know everybody asks you this question, but do you have a favorite sport, one or the other? I mean, I love both very much. So. Mm -hmm. And you, you, you participate, uh, I'm assuming, every day to be as good as you are in, in dual sports, right? Yes, sir. I train every day. and. Um, like just get the best workout while I can so so you know I was thinking Javon about your schedule uh, and you, you and I were talking a little bit before the show started today at 11 year old boy uh, school is a big part of everything that you do uh, with all the things you got going on that I want to talk about in the show a little bit how do you manage to get that school in there tell me about your your schedule uh, as far as school is concerned well, um, I go to a school called Gwinnett Online Campus, and they help me out with a lot of stuff. I mean, you go to, um, you do school from online um, all the days of the week except one day, and then you go to school on Wednesday. But it just makes it really easy for me mm -hmm. to uh, be able to do my work so I can travel with my work because I travel a lot. Yeah. So Gwinnett Online Campus, I think, is what it's called, right? Yes, sir. That's and, what it's called. and that's part of the Gwinnett County public school system. But as you said, it allows you to be on the road, your mom and your dad, whoever's traveling, and you're still getting that academic uh, environment you need to make sure that you progress on that side of your life as well. Yes, sir. Yeah, you get all the academic you need from it. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been going to Gwinnett Online School? Well, I've been going since fourth grade. Fourth so. grade, okay. And so I understand that you're a pretty good student. Yes, sir. And tell me about something, as we're taping the show today, tell me about something that just happened this morning at Gwinnett Online. Well, um, I, was, um, I was able to be a part of the National Honor Society, and, I mean, it went great. Um, it, was, it was great to be a part of it, and I'm excited to be a part of it. So, I mean, I look forward to the future. There you go. So when you talk about excelling in sports, you also understand how important it is to excel in your academics as well, right? Yes, sir. I very much care about my academic-wise. Well, good for you. So, Javon, I was reading about your bio, and uh, it looks to me like there's a lot of people throughout the country that have taken notice of you. Uh, so let's talk about some of those things that are going on in your life right now. I understand that you've been involved with Under Armour for two or three years now as far as some commercials go, and you recently had an opportunity to do another commercial. Is that right? Yes, sir. I was recently in the um, Under Armour's biggest campaign, and um, I, was with, um, I did some parts with The Rock in the um, commercial, and it was really cool because um, I did the eyebrow thing. Yeah. And um, I think I got a better eyebrow than him. <laughs> I, I think I can do it pretty And that's well. his thing, right? Yeah, that's his thing. So uh, where did you have to go to do the commercial? 
I actually went to L.A. and I want to live in L.A. It's my favorite place. You, what, right. you're going to leave Gwinnett County and move to L.A.? <laughs> so, well, <laughs> we'll see, right? I'm older, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. So you got to go do a commercial with The Rock, and, and the purpose of the commercial, what's it talking about? Well, the purpose is like I will kind of thing. Like there's some boxing involved, there's some different sports involved. It's just like a really cool commercial and all. I mean, there's some scenes where me and The Rock go to the workout room, and we work out from there. I mean, it's going to be a really nice um, and cool commercial when it launches. And you also had a opportunity to do a tribute to you being uh, a boxer, uh, a fellow that we all know by the name of Muhammad Ali, a tribute to him. I think you were in that as well, right? Yes, sir. I mean, it was amazing being in it. Um, I mean, it was like an honor of Muhammad Ali, and I really enjoyed being in it. And I thought it was just a really cool experience that I could have. Mm -hmm. Well, before we go any further, uh, let's show the people watching the show today, let's give them a glimpse of that commercial you did with The Rock and take a quick look at that. Let's do it. All right. So how do you make it? How do you overcome the odds? There's Natasha's way. Be shy, focus on yourself, until they focus on you. Or Juana's way. Why be one champ when I want to be two? Be like Yusra. Let nothing Syrian refugee pulls boat to safety. destroy your dreams. Screw fate. Or maybe you beat doubt one step at a time, like Johnny. <laughs> what about Zoe? <laughs> Never satisfied. Not with trophies or stunts. Then there's Dennis. Work with what you got to get what you don't. Or you could be like me. Dream of pro football, get hurt, dream over. Find yourself with just seven bucks in your pocket. So how did I get here? By being the hardest worker in the room. How are you gonna get here? So that was that was a pretty cool commercial to make. And uh, did you uh, exchange email addresses with The Rock and all that after it was over with, so you could stay in touch with him? <laughs> no, but um, I'm looking forward to the next commercial with him. Absolutely. So Javon, let's talk about. I want to talk about both of your sports um, because I think it is very interesting that a, that somebody that is your age has uh, excelled in not only one sport but in two to the level that you're at. So let's talk about boxing first. And you know, we talked about Muhammad Ali a little bit. Obviously, for an old guy like me, I know who Muhammad Ali is. I grew up watching him. But but what do you think about as far as boxing goes when you think about Muhammad Ali as as an eleven year old kid? Well, when I think about Muhammad Ali, it's just someone that I really look up to. I mean, he was a great person in and out of the ring. I loved all of his quotes. My favorite one was float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. That's right. He was just an amazing person. He really tried to do good for the boxing world. And who are, tell me some of your favorite boxers beside Muhammad Ali. Well, um, some of my favorite boxers, I really like um, Mike Tyson. Yep. He's my favorite boxer in the ring. I love his head movement. He's just a great boxer all around. I also love Lomachenko. I love the way he moves his feet, and I just think he's a great fighter. Have you heard of some of the old boxers like Sugar Ray? Have you heard of all those folks yeah, too? Yeah, Vander Holyfield, yeah. Sugar Ray. I mean, I love all those too. And so if you're thinking about your boxing career going forward, who would you think you sort of model your boxing style after the most? I like to try to model my boxing style as Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali. Combination. A combination between that, yeah. So when we think about boxing, and then let's move over to the uh, gymnastics side, are there things that you do from a training perspective that really help you on both sides of that coin, do you think? Well, um, I think um, a little bit with like landings from gymnastics and mm -hmm. like the power that you have from the floor. I think it helps with like leg stuff sometimes for boxing to keep like a good stance. So, Is it, uh, is it more difficult, do you think, to, to do the things that you're doing in gymnastics or in boxing or do you think they're equal? or what's I your... think they're both very difficult. They are very difficult, yeah. I agree with you. Uh, so I, I'm going to try to predict your future for you a little bit and get your <laughs> ideas on it, okay? So you're so, 11 years old today. You're too young to do certain things still in, in the sports world, even as an amateur. But, uh, you know, when I first started hearing about you, and I've, and I've heard about you for a while, that's why I'm so happy to have you on the show today. 
Uh, I keep thinking about one of these days, I'm going to be sitting and watching TV and I'm going to click on the Olympics and there is Javon Walton. Have you thought about the Olympics at all? I mean, I think about it all the time. I mean, I love the color gold because that's what I want to win one day. And I mean, I'm really, that's something that I try to like look forward to. And that's something that I want to accomplish when I get older is be able to be an Olympic athlete. And I think the good thing, well, let me, before we go any further, if you talk about boxing and you talk about gymnastics, I think I read that you actually have aspirations to go to the Olympics in both sports, right? Yes, sir. I'm looking to go for boxing and gymnastics. Um, the level that you're, even as, a, even as an 11-year-old, the level that you're competing in now, you're competing against people who would very much be in that Olympic status, right? Yes, I'm um, competing against very high level people and it's um, good competition for me and it gets me ready for the future and even now it gets me ready. Yeah. Well, I want to talk to you about uh, some more things specific, but we're going to take a quick break here and when we come back, we're going to finish up some more questions and learn a little bit more about Javon Walton, okay? Awesome. We're talking today with the future Olympian, uh, Javon Walton. We're going to take a short break for a PSA. We'll be right back after these uh, commercial breaks. Todd's a great guy. I mean, look at him. What a sweetheart. Attaboy. Wait, Todd, what are you doing? How totally selfish and untod like of you. Come on, Todd. Come on, man. They'll test you. Try to break your will. But however loud the loudness gets, however many cheese puffs may fly, you're the driver, the one in control. Stand firm. Just wait. And move only when you hear the click that says they're buckled in for the drive. Never give up till they buckle up. Welcome back to the show. We're talking today with Juana Walton, who is a phenomenal 11-year-old athlete who lives here in Gwinnett County and has aspirations for great, great things in the future. Juana, before the break, we were talking about some things you're involved in relative to boxing and gymnastics, but let's talk about Juana a little bit. Uh, you have brothers and sisters, I believe, right? Yes, sir. Tell me a little bit about your family. Well, I have a baby brother, a twin brother, and an older sister. My baby brother, he likes to do whatever. I mean, he likes to do baseball. He likes to do a little bit of boxing. It's really cute. Mm -hmm. And I have a twin brother. He's um, a baseball player, and it's really fun to watch him. He's really quick go coming to the plates and everything. He's yeah. a good baseball player. Yeah. And I have an older sister. She just got into boxing about a year ago, and she won regionals recently, and she did great. I mean, I'm really proud of her overall, and, I mean, she's just doing great overall right now. So you guys have an athletic family, right? Yes, sir. And your dad was an athlete, and so it just it's a natural thing for you guys to be in it like you are. Yes, sir. Absolutely. So, Juana, let me ask you something. Uh, people today who are, who are just getting to know who you are and learning about you, they may say, well, man, it seems like he's just working and working and working and working. But you have other hobbies as well, right? Yeah, I mean, I like to um, play outside. I like to chill with friends. I mean... I like to, I mean, I have a bunch of different hobbies. I actually like to play basketball. It's really fun. Are you a pretty good basketball player? A little bit. I mean, <laughs> I'm kind of new to it. Kind of new to it. Kind of new to it. Well, that's good. So you've got a lot of interest outside other than just boxing and gymnastics, and you, and you do things that normal kids do, right? Yes, sir. Good for you. You like to go to the movies? Yeah, I do. I like to watch comedy movies. Mm -hmm. I like movies a lot. Good for you. So we talked a little bit uh, in the first segment of the show today about some things that you had been involved in really on a, on a big scale on a national level. So I understand you also had a chance to go out and do the Steve Harvey show, right? Yes, sir. Well, tell me about that. Well, I mean, it was a great experience. He was a super nice guy, and um, it was fun doing a handstand on his desk and the flipping off of his desk. It was funny because he didn't see it because um, he didn't know that I was going to do it. Yeah. And um, he gave me this really cool Mike Tyson glove, and it, w it was really cool. I mean, I, I really liked 
I really like spending time with him. Absolutely. Now, was that the Steve Harvey show or was it the Little Big Shots? Which one was it? It was the Steve Harvey show. He was on the, I mean, he was on the Big Show. Wow, good <laughs> for you. Good for you. You've also done some things with um, a Facebook piece that was a national piece. Tell me about that. Um, with Muhammad Ali. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That was a great experience. I mean, I really, I mean, I had a great chance, and it was good to be able to have that chance of doing that Muhammad Ali thing. And um, I was just really happy to do it, and it was just like something that I really enjoyed to do. Let me ask you a question: When you're sitting around the TV with your family, and uh, you're just watching whatever you're watching, and all of a sudden that commercial came on, and there you were on TV, how'd you feel? It, I mean, it felt great. I mean, <laughs> it, it was a surprising moment for me, and. I really enjoyed it. I mean, it was a cool commercial, and I just love the background of Muhammad Ali because I really look up to him. I love Muhammad Ali. He's just a big idol of mine. He's my favorite boxer of all time, if that makes you feel any better. He's my <laughs> favorite of all time. Did, you, did your uh, brothers and sisters give you a hard time about it, or are they just as proud as you were? No, they were proud of me. Good so. for them. Good for them, because, yeah. you know, sometimes brothers and sisters can be rough. So yeah. <laughs> good for them. So, uh, Devon, uh, you know, we're, we're talking about uh, that you're always out there training for something. What are you training for now? What's your next big deal as far as either of the sports that we're talking about today? I'm actually getting ready for J.O. State, and then um, after that I'll get ready for J.O.'s Regionals and then um, go to Nationals, hopefully. And I'm ready for everything that's coming. I mean, first got to do step-by-step, step from start from state. Mm -hmm. And those are all those things that keep leading you up to that level that you want to be as far as the best of the best, right? Yes, sir. Let me, let me put you on the spot just a little bit today. You're a, you're a fifth grader, right? Yes, sir. You're 11 years old. And there might be a lot of kids who are watching you today who have often wondered about, you know, I wonder how good I could be in a particular sport if I got started. If there's people who are watching you today and have, have seen the success that you've already had at a very young age, what advice would you give them just to get started? I'd give them advice of just keep working hard, work for what you want. I mean, work for what you're passionate about and just do what you love best and that will lead you far. And it's always a matter of never giving up, right? Yes, sir. It's Absolutely. always a matter of never giving up. So, Juana, I understand also that you did a campaign with the Coles uh, department store. Tell me a little bit about that. It was a great experience. I mean, I saw a bunch of other athletes there and it was really cool to have the opportunity. Um, I, I mean, it's, it's crazy to see myself on huge banners and cold. So they have banners of you hanging at the store, is that what it is? Yes, sir. Well, that's pretty cool to walk in there. So, see, what you should do is take one of your friends in there who doesn't know it and just surprise them and say, hey, that guy there looks familiar, right? And do it <laughs> that way. So I understand also Instagram's a big part of your life, right? Um, uh, you've got a few followers, I think. So how many do you think you have? Oh, about 80,000. Just 80,000. So. <laughs> yeah, I knew it was just a couple. But uh, 80,000, and that's at Onward Wana, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, so if anybody wants to drop you a line, they can do that. And Wana, if there's people watching the show today who just want to learn a little bit more about you, maybe they can see some video or whatever with you training. Do you have a website that they can go to? Yes, my dad actually owns a website called onwardathletics.com. There's a bunch of apparel, there's boxing gloves, and um, maybe you could come to the gym. I mean, and people could train with me, and, it, and it's just a cool thing. So. They, they can actually come to the gym you work out and see you working out and maybe even do some training there as yeah, well. Yeah, maybe right? if they want to do, maybe if they want to sign up and do some training there too. That's perfect. Yeah. Well, Juana, let me just tell you, as I said when we started the show today, we've had some really incredible guests on our show over the years, professional athletes. Uh, I want you to know that I've never been more impressed than any of those than having been able to meet you today, and I appreciate you taking time to be with us today. Thank you very much. It was a blessing to be able to be on the show. We're going to be watching you closely to see where you go, and I know it's going to be nothing but the top, okay? Yes, Thanks sir. again. That's all the time we have today. If you have questions or comments about today's show or ideas for future shows, you can reach us at the phone number or the email address shown at the end of the show. Thanks for being with us. I'm Stan Hall. See you next time on Get In The Game. Goodbye.